Did you know that they now make wall sheeting materials for the home that can actually withstand the impact of a bullet? Well, today we're in Waco, Texas, and we're going to show you how bullet-resistant wall panels are made. It takes a lot of muscle and patience to make a wall panel that will stop a bullet. They call this paneling armor core, and at the Waco Composites, a four-man team produce about 16 panels a day, enough to cover the walls of an average bedroom. Armor core is made from layer upon layer of a specially coated fiberglass cloth compressed together under a tremendous amount of heat and pressure. The thickness of the panel depends upon the caliber of bullet you want to stop. Wayne, you make four different thicknesses of this bullet resistant material. Why? Steve, we are trying to stop four different uh, weapons here. Level one, Armor Core Level One, is a five six inch thick product that's designed to stop a nine millimeter round that looks exactly like this. Here you've got three shots per one square foot panel, and you can see that we defeated or stopped the energy of the yeah, bullet. It's just humped up there, but the exactly. bullet's in there. That's correct. The bullet is locked inside the panel. Level two is designed to stop a 357 Magnum, which is around just exactly like that. That's a much heavier, bigger bullet. Correct, a little thicker panel. And again, you can see that three rounds per this one square foot were stopped and contained within the panel. Yeah. Okay, level three, Armor Core Level 3 is a product that's designed to defeat or stop a 44 Magnum round, which is a bullet exactly like this. Yeah, it's much heavier. Much heavier. And here we have two shots per one square foot. Good example of how the product absorbs or defeats the energy of the bullet by delamination process. We call it controlled delamination. Big hump here. That's correct, big but, hump. But it's amazing that this thin material can stop a bullet that big. Correct. Here you have a product we call Armor Core Level 4. That is heavy. That is very, very heavy, heavy. Almost 14 pounds per square foot. Here you've got a 300 Win Mag high powered 30 caliber uh, rifle. Now this would be used for what? Well, most common application for level four is in rural situations where you have a home that's concerned about taking stray rounds from deer hunters or an adjacent shooting range. I see. And this um, stopped the bullet as well. The company has its own indoor gun range to ensure that the panels are not only bullet resistant, but ricochet resistant as well. So Wayne, you shot this target three times with a 357 Magnum, is that right? That's correct, Steve, and let's go ahead and open this and get the uh, panel out. See what we got. As you can see, three rounds of uh, 357 Magnum. Let's take a look at the backside. What you have here, Steve, is a perfect example of how the bullet right there, as you can see, has been defeated and contained within the fibers of the panel. So this passed the test? It passed the test. No, uh, no penetration. It's locked within the fibers. And uh, this was probably at about 1,350 feet per second. Wow. It takes nearly two hours to produce a single panel, from the time the fiberglass is stretched to the trimming of the rough edges. Well, Wayne, this looks like the same material that they make fiberglass boats out of. That's correct, Steve. Woven roving fiberglass is used to make a lot of different products. What we have here in making these ballistic panels is the fiberglass is being pulled through a resin bath by this impregnating machine. Here it goes between two uh, squeeze rollers that are squeezing out excessive resin, making sure that the glass is completely wetted out. Then the uh, fiberglass is received on this end onto these call sheets, and we'll continue to pull just enough glass to obtain a, a desired level of ballistic resistance. Now the resin is basically the binder that holds all this together and hardens, right? That's correct. The resin is the binder that uh, is, allows all the plies to be squeezed and held together. Now the more plies, the more bullet resistant the, the panel is, correct? That's correct. So what happens after it leaves here? From this stage, after they've pulled out the number of plies they need, this lift table will bring it over and load it into a hydraulic press here, where we'll press it at uh, a temperature of probably in excess of 150 degrees for a, a period of roughly an hour at at least 1,500 pounds per square inch. 
One hour later, the panel is removed from the press, hard as a rock and bullet resistant. So Wayne, after the panels come out of the press, they've cooled down, they come over here, but they sure look rough. Right, Steve, at this point, we bring them over to this saw. It's 16 inch diamond saw that's, that's a wet saw. We trim it down to whatever size our customer's wanting, four by eights and three by eights. Well, this is a four by eight sheet here, right? Exactly, this is a four by eight sheet of level two armor core designed to defeat a 357 Magnum. This is about three eighths of an inch thick. It's three eighths of an inch thick, weighs approximately 137 pounds. Now, how do I cut this in the field? It's a good question, Steve. If you're in a field situation, a carpenter can field cut it down to any net size using a uh, skill saw with a masonry diamond disc blade. Well, you know, I've uh, seen pictures of hurricanes and tornadoes where they've actually sent pieces of wood flying through trees and homes. This looks like it'd be a really good material as a storm resistant panel. Steve, just recently we were uh, tested by the in wind engineering department at Texas Tech University in cooperation with FEMA. As it turns out, these panels are excellent to resist and defeat the energy of a two by four that might be propelled by an F5 tornado traveling at in excess of 100 miles per hour. Wow, well if I were ever building a home in storm country, I'd definitely consider using this. A four by eight sheet of level three armor core cost about $425. And that means if you wanted to build a 10 by 12 bullet resistant room, it would cost more than $4,000. Certainly an option for the homeowner with a heightened need for security.